Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. This is exercise uh, number two for um, professional actuarial exam MFE, Models for Financial Economics. You can see the um, websites where you can find information about me and uh, seminars that I offer, my advice on how to pass actuarial exams, and where you can get um, um, the study manuals that I have authored, and if you would like to support the actuarial program at Illinois State University, then uh, the URL at the bottom is the one for that. Um, you can see that I use the redirect service smarturl.it, um, and then after a forward slash, um, uh, you put a word that helps you remember things, so if you want to look up who I am, just type in Jedi and see what you get. Effective mid-2017, certain topics that used to be covered on Exam FM, on Financial Mathematics, have been moved to Exam MFE, and this is an exercise that I posted once for Exam FM, as Exam FM exercise number 86, that now covers topics on Exam MFE. Uh, so, um, it's now posted in this uh, playlist in my YouTube channel for exam MFE because the four exams that I'm telling you stories about are in the four playlists and if I manage to create videos for more exams in the future, I hope to do that in 2018, uh, then I will create a new playlist. So we have the following story. Um, a stock is expected to pay a dividend of $2 per share in one month and again in four months. The stock price is $120 and the annual risk-free rate of interest is 5% with continuous compounding for all maturities. An investor has just taken a short position in a six-month forward contract on the stock. Calculate the forward price. And let's stress this, that you are not expected to guess what kind of price there was for this contract. No, you're supposed to find the forward price, and the forward price is defined as the price named in the forward contract, such that if you enter into that contract, uh, there is no payment, there is no money changing hands between the two sides in the forward contract. Okay? And what is the forward price? Well, the forward price is the current price of the stock without the dividends paid between now and the time when the forward contract is exercised, or is consummated. Um, so with all the dividends that are paid through that time taken out, without those dividends, we call this the ex-dividend price or its prepaid forward price. In this case, the stock price without dividends paid during the forward contract is uh, $120 minus present value of the two dividends of $2, one paid in one month and another one in four months. And we discount them to today using continuous compounded rate of interest of 5%. So the first one is discounted over one month, one twelfth of a year, and the second one over four months which is four twelfths of a year. And we get the prepaid forward or ex dividend price of the stock to be $116.04. And the forward price is this price accumulated with interest until the end of the forward contract when the contract is consummated, when money when you exchange money for the underlying based on the contract. So we accumulate $116.04 at 5% continuously compounded over 6 months out of 12 in a year. And we get 118.98. And that's answer D. And that's the end of the story. Please remember this is copyrighted material. And please remember that the original problems, the actual problems from all the actuarial exams, are the property of the corresponding societies. In this case, this is an old problem from the casualty actual society problem. Um, exam, sorry. Good luck on, in your studies and on the exam.